On 821, we're going to talk about multi, multiple representations of the quadratic functions. So we talk about tables and graphs and situations and equations. So um, there are a lot of words here. So I'm actually going to go through the graphing part of this as we talk about the words. So when you finally get over here to like where we're writing, um, you will need the 821 resource page, and I will have that linked. Um, and so, the first one we're going to talk about um, is Maggie. So these are water balloon, um, a water balloon contest. So they're launching them. Um, like I'm just going to go over here to Jen's real quick. She launches it right here, shoots it up in the sky, comes back down. So that's kind of the like parabolas are really good for like things that you would throw up in the air and they'd fall back down. Um, so Maggie, her launch um, is going to be with the equation y equals negative x squared plus 17x minus 42. So on your, your resource page, Maggie is the one that's in the pencil. And so you're going to fill out a table. Um, now it also tells you that Maggie started at the three yard line. So since she placed her catapult at the three yard line, when it was there, it was it had gone up zero. Okay, so we know that one. From there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in each of these numbers. So I started with three because we know that's where she started. Um, and then I just went down and filled up the whole thing until I got to 11. Now, her equation, negative x squared plus 17x minus 42. That's what this is, negative x squared plus 17 times x minus 42, and solved that for all of them. Now you will see that here it starts to repeat itself. So when I saw that eight was 30 and then nine was 30, then I saw that 10 was 28, I was like, oh, okay, well then I can just go ahead because of line of symmetry, um, I know that they're gonna be the same, so that's why I didn't have to do the 11. Um, Jen's toss, they gave you the graph, and so you need to just go through here and you will find the ordered pairs. So like one is at 15, two is at 25, um, like such. And so one was 15, two was 25, three was 30, four was the vertex, it was the highest point at 32. So that means as you continue, again, you're gonna see that those are 30, 25, 15, and zero. So I highlighted Jen and orange. And then imp, they tell you that imp, well, they give you, um, yeah, they give you a table. And so I pretty much just copied the, the, the table that they gave us. And then um, I continued it on. So it stopped at nine. Um, but again, you see that here's the vertex, like there'll be a place in a parabola that it starts to repeat. So you know you can just go backwards like that. So plotted those points, they get you there. And then Al, um, Al, you didn't get a lot of information. He um, started at the 10 yard line. So that's why I used 10, he was at zero. Um, it reached the height of 27 yards. Um, and so I knew that was going to be 27. And then I knew when it got back to 22. Oh, no. Um, sorry. Uh, it reached a height of 27 at the 16 yard line. So I knew 16, 27. Since that tells me this part of it, I know I can just repeat that to go down. So from 10 to 16, I would have added 6. So if I add 6 more then it's going to take me back to zero. So I could see those three points. So now you have all four of their water balloon launchers and you can see um, how they um, how they look. So the questions, um, who had the longest distance? So to look for the longest distance, that's going to be from start to finish. So from zero to eight or from two to 12 or from three to 14, or from 10 to 22. And 10 to 22 is 12 um, difference. 22 minus 10 is 12. So that's gonna be the longest. So that was Al. And then the next one is the highest throw. Well, as you can imagine, the highest throw is gonna be the, 
the tallest um, parabola. So that's going to be Jen. She was an orange. Uh, then it says find the x-intercepts of each of the parabola. What information of the x-intercepts does tell you about each balloon? Well, the x-intercepts for Maggie, it tells us that she started at 3 and it landed at 14. Jen started at 0 and it landed at 8. So both of those would be x-intercepts. And I actually just put the first one. So you would need to add um, the other ones. Um, and so the first x-intercept tells you where it launched the balloon. Their second x-intercept tells you where it landed. And then it says, find the vertex of each of the parabola. What information does the vertex tell you about each one of them? So the vertex is going to be the highest point. So that's going to be, and when you look at a table, where they start repeating. So like here it gets to 32, and then it starts going backwards. This one gets to 25, and then you start seeing like going back downhill. This one gets to 27, goes back down. This one's a little trickier because it doesn't just have that place, but you know that it's gonna be between eight and nine, and it's gonna have to be halfway between those. So we know that the vertex, the X value for Maggie, would have to be 8.5. <clears throat> so you can find that by plugging 8.5 into her equation. So if you remember, it was negative x squared plus 17x minus 42. So when you do that with 8.5, you get 30.25. Um, and so what do the vertices tell you? That is the highest point. Um, and so like how high it was and where, and um, like how far away it was when it reached the highest point. So that's video number one. Um, tune in for video number two.